Morongwe, what was life growing up? And can you discuss any challenges that you faced? Life growing up was um, quite challenging, um, actually. I grew up in Makapanstad, which is a rural area. Uh, we were eight at home, so that means no butter on the bread, you know, just pure pap and cabbage. And um, I had to walk almost 46 kilometers to and fro uh, to school. And, um, you know, adding to that with all the house chores, um, it was actually very difficult for me and, and uh, my siblings and my sisters. And what inspired you to become an engineer in the first place? Okay, I always wanted to be an engineer from a very young age. Um, I was very competitive and I was doing a lot of wire cars. And I would do windmills, I would do uh, rain gauges uh, during science fair. And um, I will get into competition with, with um, you know, uh, little boys of my age. So uh, that on its own, I, always, I was always interested on, in how things work, you know, and um, especially um, cars, you know. So that was, it was quite an interesting um, concept for me. And did you ever think that you would be the engineering manager of the power station? I never thought I'd be the engineering manager of the power station. I always wanted to be the CEO of the company and that's where I'm going. So being the engineering manager is just um, another stepping stone uh, for me, you know, uh, on, my, on my way uh, to, to being the CEO. But as I said, I was always very competitive and I was one of those intelligent kids. Um, <laughs> so I sort of used uh, that as well to, to, to get to where I am. And can you just um, give us a rundown of what you do at the Hendrina Power Station? Okay, at the Hendrina Power Station, um, as an engineering manager, I look after the governance um, of, 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 the, of the power station. I look at the designs, um, any modification that needs to be done in the, in the um, in the plant has to go through um, a, a, an engineering an engineering process. Um, I looked I look at the budget obviously of the group as the engineering manager, and I look at uh, human resources as well um, for 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 the group. Uh, most importantly, I make sure that uh, the plant is available and it's reliable. And in this field, you obviously work with a lot of men. What is that like for you? I actually find it very easy to work with. Uh, um, men uh, from my high school years I've always spent a lot of time with uh, uh, male with male uh, uh, people so for me as as a woman we are born with almost 98 percent of the leadership qualities in us you know and it's for us to just it's for us to utilize what we are given uh, more effectively so I find it um, challenging, yes, all right? Because when you stand up as a woman, you have to know what you're talking about. That is one thing for the males to listen. And women are good with um, relationships. You know, we are good with building teams, which doesn't come uh, very easy on, on our male counterparts. So I sort of use that as an advantage to um, influencing them, you know, to, to, to follow me without any hassles. So that works for me. Thanks, Morongoy. Thanks, Tracy.